I'm a serious rugby player. I play to win. There is no fun in losing. My coach is average, doesn't know the game. The ref makes too many mistakes, he can't keep up. Got to make the rep team and get into a good rugby school. I hope you had a cool week. Next week will be even cooler because the Rugby World Cup kicks off in Japan and it's going to be bigger than big. Doesn't matter who you support as long as you're fair and applaud from the couches. Don't yell at the TV because it doesn't have ears. Let's start the show with another rising star. I started playing rugby when I was around... I think it was seven, yeah. I've played flanker, I've played wing, I've played second five, and I've also played centre. I've played volleyball. I do swimming, table tennis sometimes. I want to be a builder when I'm older and a rugby player. Well, when I was in my mum's tummy, the thing surrounding me broke and a rubber band went around my arm and stopped it from growing. I was born without an arm. Liam has amniotic band syndrome. So when he was in my tummy, um, the sac that he was in actually tore and um, there was a strand from that tear that wrapped around his arm. It's kind of like when you get a rubber band and you put it around your finger or around your wrist really, really tight and that stopped his arm from growing. I never really realised it until probably I went to school and there, there were so many people that I kind of just realised it because everyone spotted me out and stuff. a bunch of prosthetics and this is my first one that I had when I was 10 months old. When I was three years old I got this one. I had this one when I was six and this was my very last prosthetic and yeah I could open it like that and then open and close so you pull this down. So we've never had any bad reaction to Liam's arm. Um, most kids are really inquisitive and curious about it and he's really open about talking about what happened to him and how he has a little arm. And when he was wearing a prosthetic, you know, we used to call him his go-go gadget arm and so kids just thought that was awesome as well, like wow. <laughs> Liam's gone through a few arms in his time, but he never quite felt they worked right. But as you can see from his basketball game, he doesn't really need a helping hand. Oh, it's good. He's really keen. He really wants to get in there and, and uh, have a crack. Just the enthusiasm that he um, brings to the game, and he's always been like that. Before I coached him, I noticed him. Um, playing against my daughter's team and I just thought, wow, that kid's somebody to watch. We're actually up against our um, brother team, so um, it'll be an interesting game today. They beat us the first time round, so we'll see how we go. Rugby is a great outlet for Liam and his energy. He's always had energy to burn. Um, it teaches him to work as a team with other kids and communicate and he's just really passionate about his rugby. Best thing about rugby is probably um, getting the ball and scoring a try. The hardest thing would probably be passing to my right and tackling. I'm practicing on doing the a Sunny Bill Williams style pass to the right. It doesn't stop um, me from doing anything.
Kendra and Marcel are next up with another awesome tackling tip. So move everything out the way in the lounge and get a cushion to practice on because here we go in three, two, one. Hi, I'm Blackfin's halfback Kendra Coxedge. And I'm flanker Marcel Parks. And this is how you tackle the right way. Hey guys, welcome to Sunny Skills. Today we're going to be talking about evasion. Now, for me, I'm not much of a stepper, but when I do, I like to, I guess, drag the player one way and step back the other. Now, for me, it's horses for courses. If you're a small guy and you're jinky and you like to jump up like Nehe, then do that. If you like to swerve and use your pace like Rico does, then do that. Um, but what I'm trying to say is just use your natural flair. There's no prescription, there's no this is, this is right, this is wrong. If you're beating the player, then you're doing something right. For me, what I like to do is drag the player one way and then step back the other. So I drag him, drag him, when I know that I've got him coming, and then I'll step back. Now, like I said before, courses for courses, Whatever way you can get that timing going, and as long as you're beating the player, you're doing it right. For me, uh, what I like to concentrate on is dragging that player one way and then stepping the other. So if we break down that movement, you're dragging that player when you think you've had him, when you think you've got him, boom, you want to be real powerful of stepping and going back the other direction. And also, if you can, Stepping powerful, you want to change arms so you can fend at the same time. There are 20 teams playing in the Rugby World Cup right now. Some of them have got cool logos. You know what my Tower Tigers under 8 logo was? Bag of chips, because that was our treat after the game. How many World Cup team logos can you name? Maybe you just need a little help. There are 20 teams playing in this year's Rugby World Cup. Can you name all of these teams logos? Let's see how many you got right. Australia is the wallaby. Fiji is a palm tree. This is the southern cross of Samoa. Ireland is a shamrock. Scotland has a thistle. Japan is a sakura, or cherry blossom. Russia has its bear. England's a red rose. France has a rooster. Argentina is the jaguar. USA, the bald eagle. Tonga has a white dove. South Africa is the prancing springbok. If you know the Italian flag, you'll know this logo. Namibia has an African fish eagle. Canada has a maple leaf. Wales has the Prince of Wales feathers. Georgia has its Borchgali, which is a symbol of eternity and the sun. Uruguay has a bird called the Southern Lapwing. And New Zealanders, the Silver Fern of course, but you all knew that. can't have Small Blacks TV without the Rugbys, so here they are, always teaching us a lesson with their rugby ways, and I have a feeling today will be the same. And remember, like my mum always says, there's never any excuse for bad manners. Rugby! 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 It's time for the Rugby! Sorry, is it that time already? Terrible manners of me to keep you waiting. And if you don't know, I'm very big on good manners. The Rugabees are at the park playing rugby. That's it! <laughs> yes! Yay! Great work, Alice! How many tries is that today? Well, I'm, I'm not counting, but I do know it's more than ten. 
Can I please kick the ball over the post, Salas? Sure, Web. No, I want to kick it. <sighs> How rude. Rude? Yes, William, rude. When was the last time you said please? Why do I need to say please? I'm only kicking a rugby ball. Here you go, Web, because you have such good manners. You can kick. Oh, poos. <laughs> score a goal! No, Webb, but it was a really good kick. Yay for Webb! Lunch! 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 Lunch time! See us. You have to be fast or you'll be last. Boy, that cake was good. What? You finished the whole cake? Yeah, I think I ate too much. I need a nap before our rugby game. Laters. Uh, uh, William? Yes? Dishes. Yeah, I'm finished. You can do them. <sighs> I can't believe how rude William is. Someone should teach him a lesson. Rugby! 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 What? Why? When? Hey! Where is everybody? Well, my boy, I believe they're playing rugby. And they didn't wake me? How rude. How very, very rude. Yes, very bad manners of them all, wasn't it? I think I've just been taught a lesson. And what lesson was that? To set my alarm before I go to sleep. William? And have good manners. Say please and thanks and think of others. Thank you, William. Well said. And always remember, there is never any excuse for bad manners. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some sleep to catch up on. G'day guys, on today's offload challenge, we have the classic water bottle. Now, don't let the water fool you. It's not gonna make it easier. It's probably gonna make it harder because I might get thirsty. show but the beginning of the World Cup because the mighty All Blacks play South Africa on Saturday. Shucks, that reminds me. I've got to email Steve Hansen the game plan. Yeah, nah, me and him are tight. He asks me all the time. Anyway, see you next week. I'm Noah Finau. Stay on side, I'll tell you And it's my favourite. And hot. Nice work, Tommy.